Camilla and today I'm going to make some jewelry display or jewelry organizers. I saw a few different ways of making them on Pinterest so I'm just going to use what I already have at home. So one of the methods I'm going to be trying out is using an embroidery hoop and then another one I have some clay so I'm going to be making some clay trays or something like that. Let's get into it. So the first thing you need is some sort of fabric and an embroidery hoop. And then I'm just going to cut around the embroidery hoop. This project is actually really easy. the embroidery hoop and then just place the fabric over the inner ring and then tighten the outer ring and then you're just gonna secure the top little screw thing if you know what I mean I'm not sure what this is called leave a comment I'm sure you know it and then you're just gonna drag the fabric smooth any wrinkles there might be and lastly you're just gonna cut all the excess fabric off Once you're done with that, we're going to start gluing the ends in. As you can see, I already did it here. You don't have to do it perfect. It's just the back. It doesn't matter that much. And here is the final result. This project is super easy and it's an elegant way to display your jewelry, your earrings, Here I'm just starting to warm up the clay with my hands and then you can use uh, any kind of round object to make your clay flat. So I have a pasta machine so but if you don't you can use a pencil or a pen anything to make your clay flat. You need some sort of bowl and then you want to cut around the bowl for your clay. Then after you're done doing that, you're going to just place your clay and kind of push it into the bowl. This is my first time trying out this, so I'm just kind of like trying to form a dish. And then I had some extra clay, so I'm trying to make like this mushroom looking a jewelry or earring display that I saw something similar it's not the same but so I'm making a circle and you kind of want to make this a bit thick so here I'm smoothing it out with my fingers and then I'm rolling some balls that is going to be kind of the base of this mushroom if that makes sense or display I don't know what it's called. And then I made three different balls that I kind of place on top of each other. That is going to be the base. And also set your stove to 275 and I'm going to leave it in for 20 minutes.
So after painting my pieces, I decided to add some resin just to add some shine to my pieces. This is optional, you can use any kind of like protective spray. If you google it, you can find a lot of them. And for this mushroom earring display, you need to add some holes so you can actually put the earrings through. I have like a handheld drill that I'm going to be making these holes with, but if you don't have that, you could actually just make some holes with a toothpick before you put the clay into the stove. So as you can see here, I'm making all the different holes for the earrings to go through. And then you need super glue and you're going to glue the base to the top. So here you can see the final result. This is the little dish that I made and how it ended up looking. Here's the mushroom, earring, display, whatever you want to call it. So let me know which of these projects you would like to make yourself at home and if you like this video leave me a comment and follow and thank you so much for being here.